Islamic terrorist groups are finding many recruits in Saudi Arabia, and it's a sore subject for the Saudis, who are part of the U.S.-led coalition against ISIS. The Saudis claim that they have reformed thousands of terrorists, and Holly Williams got a rare look at how that's supposed to work. They have uh, instructor. Saudi Arabia's terrorist reform center looks more like a hotel than a prison. Its inmates take courses in non-violent Islam and do art as therapy. The brain, it's the blood. They've all recently served jail time for terrorist offenses. This is a painting of, of Guantanamo. Yeah. And aren't allowed to appear on camera. But we were given a tour of their recreation facilities, comfortable living quarters and special apartments for conjugal visits. Saudi Arabia is a fertile recruiting ground for Al-Qaeda and ISIS, and nearly 3,000 men have been treated here. But Dr. Hamid al shaigi denies Saudi Arabia bears any responsibility for fueling terrorism. Some people say that the conservative form of Islam that's practiced here in Saudi Arabia is a kind of gateway to violent extremism. If that's true, then how come we have some uh, European, some British, some uh, Danish, some uh, Dutch went to Syria. The Saudis claim the three-month program has a success rate of over 80 percent and Colonel Omar al-Zalal told us financial incentives are a powerful factor. Medical, schooling, uh, laundry, food. All know. free, all free. All free, yes. If they pass their exams, the Saudi government gives them an allowance, help finding a job and even pays for their weddings. Over lunch, we met Abdul Rahman al Hawaiti, a star graduate who's now studying engineering. Al-Qaeda? Yeah, it was Al-Qaeda. He told us he joined Al-Qaeda in Yemen because he was angered by the U.S. invasion of Iraq. I'm an infidel. If you had met me at that point, would you have tried to kill me? Of course. <laughs> but after Al-Qaeda asked him to become a suicide bomber, he came home and turned himself in. What did they want you to do? They told me I should wear a suicide vest and blow up a building, he said. But that wouldn't have achieved anything. And even if it did, I wouldn't have been around to see it. Saudi Arabian officials admit that rehabilitation doesn't always work, but they've had some spectacular failures when Saudi police arrested 88 suspected al-Qaeda operatives in September. They discovered that 59 of them had been through reform programs and were then released. Holly Williams in the Saudi Kingdom tonight. Holly, thank you.